Clay Buckholz, and as GM Mike Hazen put it recently, I don't know where we'd be without him. Buckholz having a brilliant comeback season at the age of 34. And he drills this one to deep center. That gets to the wall. AJ picks it up out there, and Acuna puts on the brakes at second. It's a leadoff double. This is slicing along the line. Long run for David Peralta. And it drops in for a base hit. Acuna will come in and score. Peralta. A little lackadaisical getting that ball back in the infield. Camargo winds up at second, and it's 1 0 Atlanta. This is out to left center. Peralta has got it. Here comes Camargo, and it's 2 0 Braves. Up the middle, Marte has got it at shortstop. Plants and throws. Pulls Goldie off the bag. And they get him at first, says Doug Eddings. It's the right-hander Julio Tehran, only 27 years old, but now in his eighth big league season with Atlanta. Chases a bad change up there, well off the plate. High in the air, foul ground, first base side. Freeman makes a nice play. Here comes A.J., here's the throw, and they have got him. I think he's safe. I think he dropped the ball at home plate. Center field, Inciarte runs it down. Buckholz goes to that cut fastball and gets his first strikeout. When they don't make plays. And Buckholz throws it away. Albies with good speed will head for third. He'll make it easily. Right back to the mound. Buckholz coming home. And they've got him. Swanson holds and Tehran grounds to third. Escobar's got it. And the Diamondbacks survive. Two D-back errors in the inning. Three in the ball game, but it stays 2-1. Walking around and it was just a little different because it was pretty much all day it was daytime. Played the Braves quite a few times. Buckholz to left center. And that's going to get to the wall. Susan's on the run. Here he comes, and we are tied at two. The pitchers are pitching and hitting, too. Yeah. It sure is. There's a little tapper that Tehran cleans up, but the Diamondbacks get the equalizer. We're tied at two. Our thanks to the great Miguel Montero. Right, guys, thank you very much. Got him. There's that good cutter down and away, tailing away from the right hand batter. They went to that changeup again against the lefty. Gets his third strikeout. Hispanic Heritage Day at Chase Field. Tied at two. Well, he was not thinking fastball. That was right there. Goldie caught looking. Got him. 12 years in the majors for Kurt Suzuki. Buckholz has got it. Marte for one, and they turn the double play. There's some D-back defense. And Souza caught looking at that fastball. There's another strikeout with a fastball. That's his fourth one down. Clay Buckholz, five strikeouts were tied at two. And he goes to that slider and gets his fifth strikeout. Leaves him loaded, and we stay tied at two. Runners on the move, and Marte strikes out. Suzuki will finish up, and Tehran strands his jam. We are still tied after six. For outstanding start from Clay Buckholz, who walked two, struck out six. Gives way to the left-hander T.J. McFarland. And foul tip, Mathis hangs on. Has really, I think, earned the trust bob of Tori Lovello. We've seen Jake used in bigger and bigger spots. He had a couple of bumps early when he first arrived from Texas. Deep to left field. 
Peralta's at the wall, and it's gone. Kurt Suzuki, his second home run in this series. It was 12th of the year, and it's 3-2 Atlanta. Ciarte takes off. Mathis's throw is a beauty. Winkler worked in Thursday's series opener. Goldie doubled and scored against him. The Scalzo hits it deep to right center field. It's off the wall. Here comes the freight train. And we are tied at three. Oh, we got a mess here. 3-3. Three, three. Bottom eight, two outs. Ildemaro Vargas hitting for Jeff Mathis. Lines it right at Albies. And here is Yoshihisa Hirano. Bronson hammers one to left center. Dansby Swanson heads for third. Here's the throw, and he is in there. Got him. Went back to the splitter, a big out number two. Tap to second, Descalso. Bottom nine on the way. This is the left-hander, Jesse Biddle. Biddle was the winner in Thursdays. Escobar hits one to third. Camargo throws it away. AJ will get third. Escobar heads for second. Everybody's safe. Swanson coming home. And we get the tag on Pollock. Two down. Chad Sabatka, who made his major league debut for the Braves earlier this year, only six big league appearances, brought back up today from Triple A Gwinnett. Center field, and Ciarte's got it. Oh, he hit a rocket to center. That's twice in the last two innings. The D-backs have lined out with the bases full to end the inning. Now, when Chafin faced Freeman and Marquecas Thursday in the ninth, Freeman doubled and Marquecas singled him home. There's a little tapper that'll get Freeman to third. Goldie's got to hurry, and they throw it away. Freeman will score, and it's 4-3 Atlanta. And there's a bullet down the line and fair. And it's in the corner for Souza. And Ciarte will round second and head for third. The relay is not in time. It's an RBI triple and a 5-3 Atlanta lead. Stop the bleeding right here. Keep the deficit at two. At least give your offense an opportunity in the bottom half of the inning to possibly tie it or take the lead. Second for Descalso and Ciarte trying to beat the throw home, and they got him. This is a different story here tonight. That's fair at third, backhanded by Escobar, long throw. And a backhand scoop by Goldie. Braves get two, D backs trail at 5 3. Souza will lead it off. Alan Minter, the eighth pitcher, used at the ball game tonight by Brian Stifter. That one kicks away from Suzuki, and now a single can tie the ball game. Up the middle, Swanson smothers it. Here comes Ahmed, and he is out at home. And the Braves hang on and win it 5-4. to four. Bansby Swanson kept that from getting in a center, and in doing so, saved the game for Atlanta. Where Swanson starts from. About 10 steps and a dive comes up immediately looking to home plate where Nick Ahmed was running all the way from second base, never broke stride around third. A perfect throw to the plate to get him.